All right. So one of my favorite rappers, Nipsey Hussle. In his song, Down Is A Great, he started out. He said, legendary moves, leader of my crew. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, that shit true. Do it like Nip Hustle, that's to fill some big shoes. And what good is excuses when the fucking rents do? All right. Understand, as a leader, understand as a person with confidence, as a person good looking, as a person intelligent, as a person of, uh, that's assertive. You're going to be held to a higher standard and a higher expectation for some particular reason. All right. When you do good, you'll be congratulated by half of the people and you'll be hated on by half of the people. But do something bad. Do or do something other people don't like. They're going to nail you to the cross. And they're going to hold that against your character for the rest of your life. See, people tend to uh, like the brain. It is uh, optimized for harmony. It's optimized for energy efficiency. Okay. So what do you think is more efficient? Stereotyping somebody or, or based on what somebody has done or what you heard about somebody. You have that perception of them and you will never change that perception. That's just what, what, what they are to you. Or you heard something about somebody. But now you see them successful. So now I must change my perception of this person to see them as successful and root them on. It takes more energy to change your mind about somebody. And it takes less energy to stay in this fixed mindset. That's why there are stereotypes. Okay. Stereotypes are not necessarily bad. It's just how the brain works. If I walked around the corner at night and somebody ran up on me and tried to rob me. And then the next night, or they then they had a they had a black hood on, you know, and they had a gun. And then the next night, I walk around the corner. Somebody tried to rob me again. They had a black hood on. The same thing. Eventually, every time I see a person with a black hood on, I just assume that they're a bad person or something is dangerous about them, because that's just a stereotype. That's the brain's way to protect itself. That's the brain's way to conserve energy because it would take more energy for me to go up to that person, have a conversation with them and talk to them and figure out, is this a person, a friend or a foe? But a stereotype allows me to shortcut that and say, okay, danger right here. I need to go the opposite way. It's just more efficient. Okay. So understand for you, heavy is the head that wears the crown with accomplishments, with success, with going up the ladder and climbing the ladder and gaining more power. Your responsibilities, the, the pressure, the stress that comes with it is the perception of the public, is how people people view you. Your past is going to come back, you know, whatever whatever that might be. You know what I'm saying? So it's just... It's, it's best off to just build good relationships on the way up so that doesn't happen. But sometimes we hindsight is 2020. So looking back, yeah, you have 2020 hindsight, but just just understand the pressure comes on from your past, how people view you. And um, a lot of people don't want to see you win. OK. Because a lot of people are not winners. So imagine you having a past of people thinking you're just a bad person or you, they've hear you've done certain things that they disagree with, with, with their views, morals, and beliefs. And now still, you still become successful no matter what. That's how you gain haters because it just doesn't matter how, how, how like sometimes you just have an it factor and you'll, you'll realize this. Sometimes you just have that it factor. It doesn't matter what happens to you in life. You still just become successful. There are plenty of multimillionaires and billionaires that are very sick, bad people, but they still become a multimillionaire or billionaire. And there are very good, very genuine, very, very good energy 
multimillionaires and billionaires. It really doesn't matter because nothing is either right nor wrong. But just understand, people's psychology is just like, because you've done something bad, you have to deal with the, that this, this is how society is. You have to now deal with these consequences for the rest of your life. You deserve nothing good in your life. You deserve not change. You deserve to be stigmatized with this particular title for the rest of your life. And this, <clears throat> and this is why people get mad because now in their head that they think that you deserve to be stigmatized with this for the rest of your life and yet they still see you winning and going and going up and going up they're like no this is this is like what is that called that's like um this is justice not served justice should be served he he shouldn't be like this you don't know who this man is da da, -da. he did this like so you can't you can't change on the people that want to know you because they will always see you like that. They will always see you in that person. And it's just, it's, it's unfortunate that it's like that. I'm just saying, that's just how the world works. People grow up on these movies and these story tales. And in the movie, like, the bad guy, he always, he never gets away. Justice is always served at the end of the movie. Where the hero beats up the bad guy. Or the hero, um, you know, dies or something like that. The, very seldomly do you see the villain in the movie get away justice is always served he dies or he gets beat up or you know what i'm saying the hero saves the day so just as that psychology people just think if you did something bad you're forever a villain and justice has to be served to you there is no there should be no good ending for somebody that has done something bad to them so as that person, you just have to set in your mind like, okay, whatever. You guys think this. You guys are programmed like that. That's okay. But just know I'm going to always win. Why, why, why the hell would you confine yourself to a box that other people want to be, that, that other people want you in? Oh, no, yeah, I did do that. Or, oh, no, I made that mistake, so... Now I'm going to just sit here. Like, who does that? Who does that? Like, you just have to have grit and you have to have the ability to say, okay, whatever. I'm still going to get rich. I'm going to still get power. I'm going to still gain status. Because that's just who I am as a person. That's who you are as a person. So just don't let anybody hold you down. Just keep winning. Keep winning.